Hi everybody. Recently I showed you how to get the uh, temperatures for the CPU and Wi-Fi chips uh, on an Asus AI mesh node. Uh, in my case it was an Asus RP AX58. So today I want to show you how to do that with just a few clicks by creating a script that will give us this output. Uh, just confirming all the temperatures that we want to know. So carry on watching and I'll show you how to create that script. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download um, PuTTY, uh, which is an SSH client. Uh, so download that from a website called putty.org. I'll leave a link in the video description. Once you've downloaded that, just put that in a directory uh, on drive C in subdirectory program files and then make another subdirectory called putty. You can put it elsewhere but just remember the location. Once you've downloaded that we're going to need to create two files, uh, one called commands.txt and then a bat file. The bat file will launch the Windows CMD interface and then from there it will launch putty uh, to create an SSH window and make the necessary interrogations to get the temperatures that we're looking for. So I use a uh, text editor uh, to do that. So once uh, you've got that open, create a file in the first instance called commands.txt. So these are the commands that you may have seen in uh, my most recent video. And here we're going to list out those commands that the bat file will call. So what I've done here, uh, first of all, I'm just going to interrogate the product ID. So this just confirms that we are SSHing into the uh, Asus AI mesh node that we want to interrogate. These two are just getting the Ethernet adapter numbers. And then these three lines are interrogating the CPU temperature and then the Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz temperature. And then these last few lines simply echo out or print to screen uh, what we've looked up. So they're going to show you the product ID, CPU temperature, and the Wi-Fi temperatures. Now, in order to get those run, you need to create another file. Uh, I've just called mine tempcheck.bat. You can call it whatever you want. What's important here, this line, I've just put in a pause uh, asking uh, you to uh, input the IP address uh, of the uh, ASUS node that you want to interrogate. If you've got more than a few, then this is going to be helpful. You can just put in whatever IP address uh, you want to uh, interrogate. Then this is the important one. So you need to put the address to the putty executable in here. So as I said, program files putty forward slash uh, backward slash putty dot exe. It can be different. Here you want the flag PW for password. So this is the password that you would use to um, log into your uh, normal ASUS router. And then here is admin. So admin is my username. So you would need to put your own username uh, for your Asus router. And then we've got the M flag and a path to the command.txt file that we're writing with a T flag on the end to show that we want to keep the SSH terminal open. If you put the two files, commands.txt and tempcheck.bat in the same directory as putty, perhaps that'd be a good idea in the first instance, then you would just have the same address here. I've just got mine uh, as a different address because I'm storing these files uh, on a network location. Once you've saved both of those, you'll be able to find those files in your file browser. All you need to do then is double click on the tempcheck.bat. So let's go ahead and do that. Then that's going to open up the uh, command line interface. And as you can see, it's asking me to enter the IP address for my AI mesh node. So if you recall from the last video, mine was 192.168.1.168. And then if I just press enter, that opens up the putty window and there you go. It's confirmed that it's the RPAX58. CPU temperature 42 degrees, 2.4 gig Wi-Fi chip is 38 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip is 43. Now I can also do the same interrogation on my main Asus router. Uh, I've got an RTAX88U. So let's just show you how that would work just the same. So again, Double click on the tempcheck.bat file. 
let that open. And this is the IP address for my main router. Hit enter. And again, see it's confirmed here. There's the router uh, product ID. This runs a bit hotter. So that's 70 degrees for the core CPU, 48 and 47 for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi chips. That's all there is to it. So once you've created this, uh, these two files and downloaded PuTTY, it makes getting these temperatures just as easy as a couple of clicks. So we've automated as much as we can. In a future video, I might do this uh, from one server to another using a cron job. What I'll try to do is uh, get these uh, scripts or kind of copied and pasted into the video uh, description. Sometimes YouTube doesn't allow that because of funny symbols, but I will try to do that. But if not, then obviously just pause the video um, at the correct point and type these out yourselves. I hope you find that helpful. If you do, uh, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.